Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my week 36 pregnancy update. So this week has been pretty rough. It was my last week of work. Um, I actually had someone ask me why Thursday was going to be my last day if I wasn't due until April 9th, April 9th. And I was actually pretty surprised by that question because um, everyone else has been telling me that I'm ready. To, I'm get, I look like I'm ready to pop any second. So, uh, yeah. But anyways, I just told her that my body told me I'm done working with my last pregnancy, which was 14 years ago, almost 15 years ago. I stopped working three weeks before. I didn't think I would make it this far. Um, this pregnancy has been harder, but also I have, I am bigger than I was before and older so anyways um so i got my results back for my urinary tract infection test and it turns out it was negative so the person who called me i asked her what could possibly be the problem instead if it wasn't a uti because i had some bleeding last week and she said she wasn't sure but i can address it with my doctor when i see her but this week I've just been really tired and my body has been really sore. Um, I don't think I've taken as much Tylenol as I did the week before, but I'm definitely glad to be done working because uh, my body is just too tired. Um, anyways, so I saw my doctor on Friday and I had a test for group B strep. When I had it at the beginning of my pregnancy, it was positive and I had antibiotics. So she tested me again on Friday. I also had my cervix checked. I was really looking forward to that because due to the bleeding and thinking that I had bloody show last week, I thought, you know, maybe the baby's coming soon. Well, my doctor said that I am one centimeter dilated but my effacement is still really thick so she doesn't anticipate the baby coming in the next two weeks but she also said she doesn't have a crystal ball so she can't you know confirm anything because anything can happen and i totally understand that of course you know but it was nice to know that she is still planning for the first week of april um since we were planning on a scheduled induction, um, she told me that the only day she has is Friday the 8th of April. And um, basically I have to be at the hospital at 7.30 in the morning. So that's gonna be really interesting. When I went into labor with my first daughter, um, it was in the middle of the night, and so I'm just wondering how it's going to go this time because, number one, I've never been induced. I don't know how fast it's going to go, all that stuff. It's all going to be a new thing. But anyways, and oh yeah, so my doctor brought up the bleeding last week. I explained to her, you know, the, I explained the bleeding situation, and um, she said that the cervix starts to get really sensitive and also it's preparing for birth. And so, um, that could be what it's from because I just had a pap smear and all that stuff and all that was good. So, um, none of that should be a problem, but she told me that if I experience bleeding again to call, which I'm going to, because that's what I've always done. She said I may experience some spotting, but um, actual bleeding she wants me to be checked out on. I ended up getting a lot of baby clothes from my coworkers. Um, I would show you all, but it's overwhelming. <laughs> so yesterday, well actually the night before, today's Sunday. So Friday night I started washing all of it because I remember when I was, um, when I had my first baby that they were saying that a newborn skin is very sensitive, so they need like special laundry detergent. So we bought the Dreft stage one laundry detergent 
and I sorted it all and discovered that she does not need any more zero to three or six to or uh, three to six month clothes. Um, today I plan on finishing the girls' room. They uh, they're getting a new floor. I would do I would show you guys a before and after, but my daughter did not approve on the before, and I have to. Anything that has to do with her or her living space, I have to get her approval to show. Just know that it's been a work in progress because um, we just had so much going on. But we finally got the rest of the floor we needed. Yesterday, we've been having a lot of problems with the floor people. Um, basically, just giving us the runaround, saying that they don't know where it is. It's like, thanks for the info. So Tim actually called around. He like literally did their job for them and got the floor we needed. So we'll be finishing that today. Um, today I'm actually feeling pretty good. Yesterday I was too, but yesterday I did yard work and it really exhausted me. <laughs> That's why I didn't make my video yesterday. But um, I'm really hoping I can start making more videos since I'm not working for a while. But we will see because my energy levels go away really quick. So this will again be another short video because I have a lot to do today. But I hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching.